Some families even went to war. Here's one. They were two halves of the same family who both founded their own dynasty. The Yorkists, whose symbol is a white rose, and the Lancastrians, whose symbol is a red rose. They clashed during, yes, you guessed it, the Wars of the Roses. Things got so bad, the Lancastrian king, Henry VI, tried something rather unusual to make everyone friends again. He called it Love Day. And welcome to this lovely occasion, Love Day, 1458. Yes, led by Queen Margaret, members of the English royal family process into St Paul's Cathedral. Oh, a little stubble there, nerves obviously playing their part. The Yorkists in their white ribbons and the Lancastrians in their red. Oh, a little shove there from Queen Margaret on the Earl of Warwick. Yes, yeah, a bit of regal horseplay, but I'm sure all in the spirit of peace and harmony. And we now just await Queen Margaret's husband, King Henry VI. Oh, yes, and they're here. OK, great stuff, guys, great stuff. That's lovely. Let's all just simmer down. So the aim today is to get you lankies big up and you Yorkies respect together in one room, just feeling the love, one big happy family. So all you have to do, just... Lean over to the person next to you and just hold hands. Yeah. Great. The king's gone mad again. Yeah. I think you're getting the Duke of York to take over anyway. <laughs> you and whose army? <laughs> well, me and my army. Me and my army. Mine! No, 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 the rival no, no, side's no, getting along no, exactly swimmingly. Yes, how wonderful it is to see these noble families back together after three years of bloody fighting. Whoa, guys, guys. Hey, let's remember what today's called. Love day. It's not fight day, is it? It's not grab someone in a headlock and beat them with a... What's that? It's a spoon. Spoon day. Today is all about love. So, whatever's happened in the past, we just need to forget about that and hold hands. It's hard to hold hands with the man who's killed your dad. <laughs> and mine. OK, but the important thing is that they've said they are really sorry. No, actually, they haven't. Well, we're not. How about I make you sorry? Over my dead body. Oh, you said it, pal. But guys, <laughs> oh, and high spirits indeed on this wonderful day. Guys, can we all, for one day, just hold hands? Well, let's not have a repeat of Christmas. Uh, right? Uh, right, now you two gents, come on. There you go. How hard was that? Come on, we haven't got all day. And you ladies. <laughs> and there we have it as they make their way out of the cathedral. It's amazing to see the spirit of friendship and togetherness. Well, that actually went better than I thought it would. The Yorkists and the Lancastrians fought for over 30 years until finally the war was won by a branch of the Lancaster side called the Tudors. But things were almost as complicated for them. And it all started when the Tudor king, Henry VIII, had a daughter called Mary. Hey, Catholic crew, Mary here. Hashtag Daddy's Little Princess. No, totally, because Daddy is Henry VIII and I'm the only surviving child, so gonna be queen one day. Hello. Ah, oh, you're so embarrassing. Sorry, darling. Ooh. <gasps> okay, so Henry VIII, Dad, is saying that his marriage to my mum, Catherine of Aragon, doesn't count because she used to be married to his dead brother and he's only just realised that, like, 18 years later. So now he's talking to the Pope about having it cancelled or something. He just wants a boy to be king after he dies. Hashtag hurry up and actually die. Story.